New events just landed in Call of Dragons, including the Lucky Ball Machine, a recharge event, and more. So stick around in this video for my review of the events, and we'll take our crack at getting this new epic city theme. Hello my friends and welcome back. I'm Chisco Gaming and at Reset Today there were a bunch of new events that we get to check out. It includes the Lucky Ball Machine but also a quiz event and a recharge event. And if we look on the calendar at some point soon we should be getting some new events here. Here's the Great Heights event. This is going to be a power gain event for a new Legendary City theme as well. So lots of events going on now, but you're here for the Lucky Ball Machine. Now the Lucky Ball Machine event is one in which you do pulls with these lucky coins. How do you get the lucky coins? Well, you buy your way into the Party Fortune Bundle, or you buy your way into any bundle, and there's currently a Purchase Rewards event going on, also known as a Recharge Rewards event. This is basically the best time to spend in the game, uh, not financial advice, not a financial advisor, consider your financial situation. But the reason is that when you spend and acquire raw gems up to these amounts, you also get extra rewards. So spending um, in the acquisition of 2,400 raw gems got me five legendary hero tokens, some keys, and also four lucky coins for the ball machine. Um, at the 4,800 tier, I've got 10, is that, yes, here it is. I got uh, six more lucky coins, really awesome. A book of retraining that I'm never gonna use. At the 8,000 tier, I got 10 legendary hero tokens. I mean, I can read these out to you, but like the rewards are just pretty damn good for spending on bundles you were going to get anyways. And in this case, I went for the Party Fortune bundle. Now, let me just give you the pro tip that there probably will be other bundles coming in conjunction with the new events. So if you're wondering, do I spend on this bundle or perhaps a Great Heights bundle, I would bet you there will be a training-related bundle for Great Heights, I'm just guessing. And I bet you that bundle has a lot of reserves. That's what it is in Rise of Kingdoms, and I bet you will get the same thing here because this game is based on Rise of Kingdoms, and I spent five years playing Rise of Kingdoms. I'm still playing, so consider subscribing if you haven't already. So let me show you the contents of the Ball Machine bundle, which I did already purchase. For five bucks, you get four lucky coins. Ten bucks, you get eight coins. Twenty bucks, you get fifteen coins. Uh, and for fifty bucks, you get twenty coins. And then I kind of stopped because I was like, how many of these lucky coins do I need to buy? Do I need the $100 tier of this bundle? Well, let's freaking find out, okay? So we can now go to the Lucky Ball Machine event. And you know what? Before I do, I'll say there is a free-to-play way to get lucky coins. What you do is when Darklings are defeated, um, treasure uh, is dropped, and you pick up the treasure. You just get these lucky coins. Uh, you may or may not get lucky coins, however. I got none in the two that I've opened so far. So you get 10 of these per day that you get to open. It requires one of these bounty posters. And if I get a look around, um, our alliance has been sharing the location of lots of these merchant chests. I mean, you, you can see there's a bunch of these floating around here. So there's a limited number of pulls, however, that can be done from each of the chests. Just make sure you get this done before reset each day. All right, so all that said, we go to the ball machine and this is a weird one. The way this event works is that there's three different ball machines you can pull from, and presumably the prize pools are more favorable in some of these other ones that don't have the city theme, maybe? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the city theme to me seems like the obvious thing to go for, and this city theme is called the Azure Guardian, but is the Azure Guardian city theme any good? Well, if we go just get a quick peek, I generally think it's good to have city themes on hand. You never know when you might want to rally your garrison with a specific troop type. Increasing your marksman unit hit points is not the best. I talked about this in a previous video, but it's certainly not terrible. 5% marksman unit hit points. You'd rather have marksman unit attack because the base stats for marksmen are primarily attack. But I'll take the hit points. Uh, if I was running a rally with marksmen, I mean, I don't have another marksman city theme. So it's good to accumulate these is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to go for it. All right, we're gonna get this thing. So we go to the Lucky Ball Machine and it's time to play the event. Uh, I'm gonna do, I guess, five spins at a time. I have 65 of these coins. 
Um, by the way, there will also be Celestial Battlegrounds where you can get these for free. So if you're like, man, how many of these am I going to get? Also, the Veil Quiz Society um, is going to give you some amount of these as well. I have not done those events yet. Um, the one that I talked about is the Bounty Hunt event where you go and claim those chests. But let's do some spins here and see how we do. Presumably, as we draw down from this prize pool, the odds will get better of pulling the the city theme, right? Because there's one ball, presumably, in here that has the city theme. Um, but I don't think the odds are actually equal. Yeah, they're not equal. So they're showing us balls that you're pulling from the machine, but I don't know if they actually represent the true odds uh, that are here. Whatever. 8% um, chance per pull. All right. I mean, let's see how we do. Let's see how we do. Five spin. Boom, 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 boom. Um, I got the Book of Retraining, which I don't care about. These Epic Hero tokens are completely worthless to me. So, yeah, I mean, this, this is actually three out of five of these are completely worthless to me. We'll do this again. And one Legend each time, it seems. Two blue this uh, this time. And then the two Epic Hero tokens is what it is. We look at the prize pool. We can see I've claimed some number of those Epic Hero tokens. Ugh, Epic Hero tokens. Bro, like, that stops being relevant pretty much almost immediately after season one. And if you're free to play after season two, pfft, bro, easy clap up in here, man. I already got the city theme. We just clapping. Easy. GG easy. All right, city theme obtained. So like, do I even need to pull any more from here? I mean, all I care about is the legendary hero tokens. So I would go to wherever there's more legendary hero tokens. So do I want artifact keys or do I want stars? I think I want artifact keys. So I think we go over here and we'll do our pulls over here. Bro, oh my God, I'm just freaking crushing this. Hello? Hello? I just one shot that bro. Literally one shot that bro. There was a 12.14% chance. I overspent. Oh my God. I am getting lucky and I have overspent. I am going to claim all the rare prizes before I've even done the free to play events. Oh, I'm getting gold keys over here. Yo, gold keys are pretty good. Okay. Oh my God. Well, well, uh, okay. Sure. I mean, okay. Let's get some more gold keys, I guess. Damn. I mean, these pulls are actually really good. These pulls getting gold keys seems really good. I can't believe how little I needed to just, like, destroy this. I mean, I, I am decimating this event. Absolutely decimating this event. Wow. Okay. Uh, I still have legendary hero tokens in here that I want. Oh, my goodness. I mean, these pulls are not bad. These are all things I want. Wow. Okay. Uh, so I got all the legendary hero tokens. So, oh. You've won all the prizes at the ball machine? So now I guess we just go back over here. Uh, epic hero tokens really sucks, but I get those universal artifact keys in there, I guess. What could I get over here? I get medals. I, I, I think this one's better. I'm honestly not sure. Let's just spend the currency down and we get what we get. Couple keys. We'll open up those keys in a minute. So, you know, look, I spent to the $100 tier of the bundle. Oh, Book of Reforging an Artifact. Hold up. Chiskul needs to pay more attention to what the hell is in this. Book of Reforging reforges an Artifact. I don't really need this, but I think that resets everything in your Artifact back to zero. Um, and that gives you your Dust back. That gives you your Stars back. It gives you your Emblems back. So if you maxed an Artifact and you're like, oh, no, this was a mistake, I think Book of Reforging would solve the problem for you. I could be wrong there. Um, we can go get a look at that. I, I actually, uh, do I want to use the new avatar frame? Not really, bro. Um, I don't, I don't even want to use the new avatar frame, bruh. Um, book of reforging. Does it show up in here? Yes. Reforge is an artifact. Okay. Uh, let's open up these keys real quick. I would say overall, um, it's kind of a cool event. I way overspent. I like haven't even gotten any of the free-to-play value. So do you even need to spend to the $100 tier of this bundle? Like, I don't think you need to. What do you do with the extra lucky coins? 
the coins will be removed after the event ends. Why are there so many coins? Like, I, I don't think I could possibly need them. Are there, are, wait, are there more prize machines over more days that I just don't know about? Wait, wait. During the event, use lucky coins for a shot at the prizes. Coins can be earned from Vale Society, Bounty Hunt, Celestial Battlegrounds. Within each of the three machines, there's the city theme and those other prizes. Coins will remove it after the event ends. Yeah, so don't overspend on this. That's weird. There's still a lot of pulls that I can do, sort of, in some of these machines, but like, I I kind of drained a lot of the prizes here. I'm really glad. I, like, I are there even forty prizes left if I bought the hundred dollar bundle? I'm so confused. Definitely leave a comment down below if these things refresh or there's something I don't know about with how these work. I I'm like actually surprised at the easy overage I got on what I needed for that. Super weird. Super weird. Okay. There we go. Pull on the gold key. Nothing too exciting. Silver keys are always kind of whatever. So um, all in all, I got a lot of universal gold heads. And the thing that's so crazy about these, they're tokens, not gold heads. That's my Rise of Kingdoms speak coming out there. But the thing that's so significant is that you're going to hold on to those for like a future season and then max a hero. Like, those weren't G2 tokens. Those were just uh, legendary hero tokens. I'll go back and confirm that. But legendary hero tokens are super valuable. Moving into new seasons, if you want to instantly max a hero, which like, the, it's, I mean, mages. <laughs> when, when mages arrive in the game, people are really want to kind of want to go nuts for that. Yeah, those those are not G2. Those are not G2s. They're just universal legendary hero tokens very cool um in terms of how the season is going uh it's been pretty exciting uh we're getting ready for our ancient statue fight it's opening over here i might live stream that it's kind of late at night um we'll see if you want to see me live stream the fight definitely leave a comment let me know uh should be a hell of a battle it's not a great time for us all of europe is sleeping um but we're gonna fight anyways uh and it should definitely be fun so subscribe if you haven't already, toss a like on the vid, and anytime there is a spending event that shows up in the game, you can bet I'm going to cover it. In fact, if you wanted to see my spins for Ferrandil, I'll have a card in the end screen. Alternatively, if you want to see the last Forge of Light where I just got really lucky, Carl will be in the end screen for that one as well.